Don't make your living selling other people's books when you're trying to write your own. It seems brilliant at first. Immerse yourself in your craft, get a sense for what's popular, gather moments of inspiration from the unassuming corners of the world. But immersing yourself in anything eventually takes its toll. think a recurring nightmare would eventually get less, I don't know, nightmarish? I need to take a break, get out of this room for a bit. Hasn't been the most successful sales trip so far, but hey, this town might want the whole pile. Small town hotel art at its ugliest. This guest wouldn't mind a bit of tidying, right? Locked. Clean and dry. Let's see. Ooh, some of these are sharp. Might help me close a sale or two while I'm here. These are all still wet. Very. A picture-perfect pile of furnace firewood. It's the hotel's furnace. Given it's July, it probably hasn't been on for a while. It's off by a few months and a few years. Well, if it isn't the traveling writer, welcome to Villa Ventana. Have we met? Oh, no. But I saw your suitcase full of books burst open on your way into the hotel. And since it sounds like you are indeed a writer, you simply must meet Oswaldo. Who's Oswaldo? Oh, a most charming and riveting storyteller. The life of every party he attends. In fact, he lives just a few doors down from here. Uh, thanks, miss. I'll drop by. Do tell him Gladys says hello. Where are you visiting from? Oh, about five blocks, give or take. You live here? Why are you staying in a hotel? Young man, vacationing is about mindset, not distance. You've traveled much farther than me to be here, but are you on vacation? Uh, good point. You're looking elegant. Maybe too elegant for a place like this. Oh, I know, dear. Sadly, this filthy excuse for a hotel happens to be the only one for miles. Give it a rest, Gladys. I'll give it a rest when you learn how to brew a halfway decent cup of tea. <sighs> Crazy old bag. You love me. <laughs> Take care. No hotel front desk is complete with a... No ho... <clears throat> uh, hello? Hmm? I know you. Harvey Green, uh, room three? 
Um, do you have a map of town I can borrow? Hmm. That's odd. People don't usually ask for maps? You're not in the book. Uh, maybe the morning guy forgot to add me when I checked in. <sighs> yeah, maybe. So, map? On the stand behind you. Stands empty. Well then, guess I'm out of maps. Guess so. Thanks. No problem. The evening air is perfect. Exercise extreme caution when crossing. Why? I haven't seen a single car on the road. Coming up next on Among the Shadows, murder most foul. New radio drama. I haven't heard of this one. And what role will recent arrival Harvey Green play in these troubling events? Wait, what? Hey, who's in there? How do you know my name? Oswaldo? This isn't funny. I'm going inside. Hello? This looks abandoned. Or worse. Wait a second, so who's listening to the radio? And where is the radio? The wall is covered in newspaper. Why is there a crossword puzzle in the middle here? And what are these paper scraps stuck around it? The remaining letters spell Telltale Heart. In that story, the narrator hides a body under the floor. I hope Oswaldo didn't consider that a source of inspiration. Hello, Oswaldo? The front door was open, is everything okay? Besides the stranger in your house, I mean. Was there a struggle here? Why else would all these chairs be knocked over? There's a crease in the corner of the rug, as if it's been folded up recently. <sighs> Am I really going to look under there? I have to, right? Huh? Something down there is reflecting light from the window. It's a key. Doesn't sound like the radio's in there. This looks like it fits. Stop right there. Don't move. Good God, what the hell's going on in here? Who are you? What's your name? My name is Harvey Green. I'm in town for business. I'm staying over at the... What business? Uh, books. I sell books. I have a card in my pocket. Uh, can I... Slowly. What's all this on the wall? What have you been doing? Nothing. No, I, I, I don't know what any of this is. Bullshit. It's true. 
I've been in here for just a few minutes. I've been in town less than a day. Whatever's on that wall, it must have taken weeks. Let's say I believe you. Why are you in here? The radio was on. I heard it from outside. I could have sworn a voice on it spoke my name. Mr. Green, have you been drinking? No, I swear. Shame. Guess you're just crazy. Mr. Green, do you have any knowledge of Oswaldo's current whereabouts? No, Sheriff. Then I have a missing person on my hands. <sighs> Listen to me. I don't know what the hell's going on in this room. I do know that if people caught wind, it'd cause a town-wide panic. So you and I are gonna make a deal. I let you walk straight back to your hotel, and you tell no one about what you saw. Say a word or skip town, and I personally escort you to a jail cell. Do we understand each other? Yes, Sheriff. Good. Now get out of here. Shit, shit. Breaking into a house? What was I thinking? Am I losing it? No, I swear I heard my name coming from in there. I didn't imagine it. I, I couldn't have. And even if I did, I couldn't have imagined all that other stuff I saw in there. I, I can't just sit in here and ignore it. For starters, this is the only interesting thing that's happened in months. Exercise extreme caution when crossing. Why? I haven't seen a single car on the road. Get out of the road! Good evening, officer. Evening, mister... Oh, uh, I don't believe we've met. My name's, ha uh, uh, Hugo. Victor Hugo. I'm a tourist. A tourist? Huh. We don't get many of those. Well... Welcome to Villa Ventana, Mr. Hugo. Stay out of trouble and all that. W uh, what happened in there? I'm afraid I can't comment on that, Mr. Hugo. Scene's still under investigation. As in crime scene? Well, that's what the sheriff's gonna figure out in the morning. Ugh, I probably shouldn't have said that even. Any chance I could take a look inside? I'm something of a... Aspiring mystery writer? How did you... Suspenders. Right. I'm sorry, Mr. Hugo. We need to make sure nothing's disturbed. You're just gonna have to use your imagination. Writers are good at that, aren't they? Is it safe for me to be out at this hour? Are you keeping out of the crosswalk over there? Uh, yes. Then you're fine. What's so dangerous about it? I wish I knew. Almost every time we're called out, it's because some pedestrian got hit. If that crosswalk's so dangerous, why not remove it? We submitted a request to City Hall. Why didn't they do anything? They did. They put up the sign. Stay safe. Huh, it's a whole mannequin. A little beat up, but it's in one piece. Maybe I could clean it up and sell it. Great, now the mannequin's dressed better. This should look like the real deal to that cop. Here goes nothing. Shit! Shit! That wasn't supposed... Oh, God, what if I... I... I, I know this man. From my... Oh, good lord! Did you see what happened, Mr. Hugo? I... Uh... 
I, I didn't. I, I heard a crash, and, um... This damn crosswalk! Sign's useless! Get back to your hotel, Mr. Hugo. I'll call an ambulance. Yes, officer. If I keep it down, hopefully he won't even realize I'm in here. The radio should still be in that deck. Time to take a look. It sounds like it's coming from in there. Oh, it's locked. There it is. And it's turned off? How? Whatever, I need to find that station. No light, no shadows, Oswaldo. No light, no shadows. No light, no shadows. No light, no... Coming up next. You are next. No, it's happening. I have to warn Lena. What did I just... Uh, that was him. He was right in front of me, and, and that thing just took him. What did you find, Oswaldo? Oswaldo's diary. Hmm. There's several references to a Lena. Must be the same Lena he mentioned in that vision. Wherever she is... I have to find her. I imagine it'll be easier than finding Oswaldo. Did the radio cause my vision of Oswaldo? How? Pretty boring assortment of magazines, especially given what's in the other room. I have plenty to read. Old, tattered, and crusty. Classic bathroom sink. Open house today. Charmingly rustic cottage featuring old world charm and new world financing options. Nothing to see.
Everything in there looks incredible. Everything in there looks incredible. Evening, friend. Care for a motor tour? Motor tour? Like a regular tour, but with a little something extra. You mean a motorcycle? Bingo! What's the tour route? Right up Ventana Hill. Killer views up there, along with our observatory. And then back down, I assume? Oh, walking back down's half the fun. It's the getting up there part that needs a little extra horsepower. Are you sure that thing's safe? You kidding? Villa Ventana's streets are some of the safest around. You know, besides the deadly and gruesome car accident earlier this evening. Oh, there, there was a car accident? You didn't hear it? It was a block or so that way toward the hotel. Couldn't tell whose car it was, but I could tell they didn't make it. I thought all the talk about that crosswalk was garbage. Now I'm not so sure. Do you know a person named Lena? Lena? Hmm, maybe rings a bell. Don't think I've met her. Okay, thanks. All right, I'll do the tour. Great. Now, as to the small matter of payment. <laughs> I'm strapped at the moment. Any chance I could ride for free? By any chance, do you mean zero chance? Mm, no. Then no. I'm good for now. You're missing out. I'm usually book solid on an evening this nice. Restrooms for city employees only. What? No, I don't need to use the restroom. Then why on earth did you come in here? I'm looking for the address of... Credentials? I beg your pardon? All requests from municipal residential data require valid authentication from the requesting party. Um, I beg your pardon again? <sighs> I need proof that you're allowed to view town housing records. So, you got proof or not? Oh, I, uh, left it at home. I'll be back. I'm sure you will. I'm in town for work and thought I'd see the sights. Uh-huh. And which site were you interested in seeing exactly? The cabinet jammed with unsorted census surveys? I, I don't know. The building looked big. Figured there'd be something to look at. If you're that desperate for something to do, there's a little Villa Ventana Museum one room over. Don't bother telling me the exhibits are falling apart. I already know, and I already don't care. Is this City Hall? Last I checked. When was that? When my shift started about, I don't know, a thousand years ago. Has a man named Oswaldo been here recently? Not recently enough. He's late. Late? He checked out a pile of old newspapers from the archives. I made it very clear that he had to return them within three days. Haven't seen him since. Cheap bastard probably used them for kindling. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> What'll you have? What do you got? Hot dogs. Anything else? Things that go on hot dogs? How eclectic. Nah, uh, I think I'm all out of eclectics. Hey, is there a woman in town named Lena? Lena? Oh, sure. I don't see her too often. She's a vegetarian. Do you know where she lives? Sure don't. 
Someone over there in City Hall should, though. Right. Thanks. One hot dog, please. That'll be three fifty. I'll, um, pay you tomorrow? Then I'll, um, give you a hot dog tomorrow. Anything I could take off your hands for free? Got a few expired ketchup packets. How expired are we talking? Sir, that is a very sad question. Just give me the damn packets. What'll you have? Selling a lot of hot dogs? Not yet. Waiting for folks to start stumbling out of the bar. After a few rounds, these things go straight from suspicious to delicious. Ha, <laughs> you speak the truth. Isn't it about time to wash that apron? Hell no. Gotta keep expectations low. If I look clean, the hot dogs look even filthier by comparison. Bye-bye, hot dog man. Vino Ventana. Sorry, pal. This whole part of town's under construction. Wow, that sounds like a pretty major development project. Tell me about it. Yes? My name is Harvey Green, and I'm a salesman with McGinty. I'd love to- McGinty? I don't recall their ever sending someone out this way. I believe they haven't, ma'am. I'm here to test the waters, so to speak. How are the waters so far? Lukewarm. <laughs> Not surprised. Wouldn't say the neighboring towns are known for their readers. <laughs> You'd like to sell to me, then? Oh, why not, Mr. Graham? Green. Bring your samples along tomorrow, and I'll take a look. I appreciate it, Mrs... Oh, Pamela's fine. Pamela. All right, thank you. Was there anything else? Move a lot of books lately? Can't complain. Business can't be that bad when there's no competition. <laughs> Only bookstore in town, huh? Great. Others pop up now and then. They all go under trying to compete with the sweet old lady. <laughs> do you do anything special to bring people in? Oh, plenty. You'll notice the sale bins for starters. We also have a couple of accomplished authors right here in Villa Ventana. I bring them in for readings and signings and the like. Tomorrow we'll be hosting Paul Frey. Ever heard of him? Real heady type. I happen to be a bit of an author myself, and, uh... Oh, you must forgive me. It's been a long day. If you have something for me to read, could it wait until tomorrow? Oh, uh, right. Certainly. Feel free to browse. Low price, lower quality books. Tonight, local author Paul Frey reads from his latest novel.
Nothing to see beyond here. Evening, sir. Evening. W what is this house? Sir, you stand at the majestic wrought iron gates of the Villa Ventana Sportsman Society. The what now? It's a hoity-toity hunting club. Can I take a look around the grounds? I'm doing some sightseeing. At the moment? Absolutely not. However, in a few hours' time, the estate will host a soiree that is open to the public. If you care to explore, that will be the ideal and legal time to do so. Got it. Thanks. Hello? Does any house in this town have people in it? This one does now. What the Fosco Moretti? Realtor. Licensed and accredited. And to whom do I have the pleasure of showing this magnificent piece of real estate? Oh, ho, ho, I am not in the market for a... Oh, ho, ho. Everybody's in the market, my friend. Some of us are just standing a little closer to the register. Your name? Uh, Harvey. Well, I have to say, Mr. Harvey, seeing you here in this immaculately tiled parlor, I see a man of purpose. Am I wrong? I have a job, if that's what you mean. Not a job, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> a calling, a yearning from within. You, Mr. Harvey, you aspire. I suppose I'm writing a... An author? My God, I stand in the presence of a modern-day Hemingway. You know he's still alive, right? Mr. Harvey, you must agree that every great writer requires an equally great writing environment. I, uh... Where do you currently do your writing? I travel a lot for work, so mostly from hotel rooms. Hotel rooms? Oh, so drab, so utterly lacking in ambiance. No, no, that won't do at all. What an artist like you needs, Mr. Harvey. Is a house. But not just any house. This house. This house? <laughs> okay, listen, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm definitely not buying this house, and I definitely don't want you assuming otherwise. I understand, Mr. Harvey. Thank you. You just need a little more time to see what I see. <sighs> Which is? That you and our sleepy little town are destined for each other. And when you come to that realization, I will be here. I promise you'll be the first to know. So what'll it be, Mr. Harvey? Do you know the address of a woman named Lena? I know the address of most everyone in town, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> but I fear I can't divulge such information. Why not? I am privy to it solely for official property matters. City Hall would have my head were I to violate my sacred realtor's oath. <laughs> yes, indeed. Why is the house for sale? Did somebody move out? In a sense. They died, didn't they? In every sense. Foul play? Hardly. The man was over 90. We were starting to take bets on when he'd keel over. How's business? A lot of turnover around here? Just enough to keep me afloat. At least there's no competition. <laughs> Most of the families in this town have been here for generation upon generation. Newcomers are rather uncommon. <laughs> Welcome, of course, but uncommon. Uh, don't let me rush you.
closet looks a little small. An optical illusion, Mr. Harvey, I assure you. This closet features no fewer than 200 cubic feet of space. I was almost inclined to list it as a second bedroom. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I don't think I could fit much in there. A skeptic? <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> Allow me then to demonstrate. Just one side of this closet can house a full-bodied man such as myself, with space to spare. I'm pretty sure I could do a cartwheel and... <laughs> Nailed it! What in the... Mr. Harvey, uh, the door appears to be jammed. <laughs> could I trouble you for assistance? Uh-oh, it's really stuck. Not to worry. Very common with these older units. <laughs> Try sliding this into the latch, would you please? It's not working. Uh, hold tight. I'm gonna go get help. Oh, um, all right. <laughs> please do hurry, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> Spacious though it is, I fear I failed to inspect this closet for mm, bugs and such. <laughs> I'm not much for cigars, but a cigar cutter might come in handy. It's the first construction paper settlers arriving in construction paper Villa Ventana. It's ugh, sticking to my finger. I'm surprised it hasn't melted. Jaunty. It's a badly printed replica of the original town charter. Wait, did they really put don't eat the mushrooms in their founding document? <laughs> Your pointing days are at an end, I'm afraid. Ooh, I've seen better days. I'll just cut my photo off the back cover. I've stuck the wax over. I'll consider it a minor miracle if this fools anyone. Found my badge. It was under my bed. Hand it over. <sighs> was that really so hard? Now what was it that you even needed? The address of a woman named Lena. Last name? Um, not sure. The telegram with the requisition was smudged. Ah, <sighs> typical. Just a moment. Ah, oh, it's always something with these guys. Where the hell was that binder? Lucky for you, there's only one Lena in our records. You have a map? There you go. And hey, what a coincidence, it's finally quitting time. Wait, uh, which side of the street is... <laughs> Never mind, I'll figure it out. Oh, I should have held on to that umbrella. I better hurry. This has to be the place. Seems obvious now that I'm here. I don't see anyone around, including the sheriff. Time to get some answers. Hello? Lena? No one's here, as usual. Lena? Lena?
drafty and unremarkable. Another radio. Could it show me what happened in here? Only one way to find out. Now, where are you, Lena? Tom! Let me go! I can't help you! I, I see... strands. It's something... Something's coming. Something's coming! To kill us all! 